So the procedure that we're about to start is, a, is called renal denervation. And this is a procedure which is performed uh, in patients who have high blood pressure, hypertension, which is not responsive to medications. In this case, our patient uh, has had high blood pressure for many years. He's on multiple medications, in fact, six different blood pressure medications, and in spite of that, his blood pressure is still much higher than it uh, should be. And that places him at uh, increased risk for stroke, heart attack, and damage to the uh, aorta and the other major vessels of the, of the body. And so for him, it's very important to have his blood pressure uh, better controlled than it is presently. So this uh, procedure um, aims to destroy some of the nerves that are present surrounding the kidney. And in patients with uh, very bad high blood pressure, the nerves are hyperactive. And by performing this procedure, we expect to be able to uh, get rid of the input from those nerves and then uh, result in lower blood pressure. And so this procedure has been done for a few years now in other places worldwide, predominantly in Europe and Australia. Uh, the papers that have been uh, uh, published about this procedure have shown that uh, blood pressure is significantly reduced after uh, this procedure. And so um, we're very excited about being the first Canadian centre to do this procedure for our patients. And um, what's interesting is that uh, in a fairly simple and uh, safe 30 to 40 minute procedure, we expect to be able to get um, a decrease in blood pressure of at least 20 points. And um, to give you an idea of that type of uh, the magnitude or the importance of that, we expect that that type of blood pressure reduction may reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke by about half. So uh, this is a very important um, procedure. We think that it may revolutionize the treatment of uh, these patients and we're very happy to bring it to them. Basically, this case that we completed today was the first of its kind. And uh, the case we actually did was uh, delivering energy around the renal arteries to ablate some nerves that supply the kidneys out, out to the brain. It's a connection. And these pathways, called the sympathetic nerves, have found to modulate blood pressure in individuals. Uh, how the idea came around was actually uh, late in the 50s and 60s, where surgeons were actually opening up the belly and doing what was called the sympathectomy around the aorta. And that had good results for high blood pressure, actually. But what happened was the patients had lots of complications because it wasn't specifically targeted to the kidneys. What we did today is a percutaneous method does, does not require any surgical intervention. No stitches, no staples, no cutting. We're able to transport up through the renal arteries or to the renal arteries from the aorta from a tiny two millimeter hole in the groin and actually destroy the nerves around the arteries, around the kidneys that cause the blood pressure to be transmitted back to the central structures of the brain. And we're able to do this without, again, doing any surgical intervention, and it's a direct delivery of energy around the arteries that actually goes outside the arteries and destroys the nerves. Uh, the idea of this is, in this patient, they're on multiple blood pressure medications and they're not responding to it. High blood pressure is associated with heart disease, stroke, diabetes, a number of other conditions, and one out of three of us is going to suffer from complications related to high blood pressure in our lifetime. So there's a need for an intervention that actually cures this, and deals with it beyond blood pressure medications. So in this case, this person was not responding well to medications. And the idea of doing this first of the kind in Canada procedure is to ablate the nerves and bring the blood pressure back under control and potentially reduce the number of blood pressure medications or get rid of them completely. The procedure itself took 45 minutes. Uh, this patient will go home tomorrow or tonight. And by coming off the medications, they also avoid all the comorbid conditions associated with medications such as not feeling well, nausea, vomiting. Uh, everyone knows the warning labels on every medication you take, and they're extensive. So what we're looking at doing is taking a step forward. This is a medical advance. This is a mechanical treatment for high blood pressure rather than a pharmacological one. And uh, what we look at doing is advancing this procedure within Canada and bringing it to multiple people and seeing that it, we really take them to another level of treatment.